Hey guys, um, Roxas slash Tamari here from IzumiCon. Um, I just needed to post this because me, my Vincent, my Reno, and my Namine, as well as a lot of my other cosplaying buddies, have been talking about what went on at the Roxas Namine wedding at IzumiCon 2008. Now, I understand a lot of people that go to these cons are big Yaoi fans. I personally am a huge Axel Roxas fan. But, I still, the whole Roxas Naminé wedding, I was so, I was fully supporting it. I thought it would be really fun and just a really cool thing to do for all the other cosplaying and just regular fans, anime fans out there to see. And so, I wanted to discuss some things that went on during the wedding. Um, first things first, whenever somebody has put that much time and effort into a wedding, into any kind of cosplay skit whatsoever, even if it's not officially on the stage during the con, you need to show them some kind of respect. There are very few people that realize just how hard I worked on that wedding. I mean... My Namine, my Vincent, and my Reno helped out a lot. I owe them so much. They, if, if they had not helped me, I would never have been able to put that thing together. But I put a lot of time and effort into it. And I really did not appreciate I mean, I can understand, yes, when Vincent said any objections, that's okay. You can object. That was, we were planning on it. But then, like, the plushie throwing, I'm sorry, but if that had been thrown at me... And if I had caught that thing, I promise you, it would not have been coming back. I probably would have tossed it into the fountain or handed it over to con staff and said, do whatever you want with it. You can decide whether or not the person who threw it at me while I was performing can get it back. And as for the girl with the yaoi mallet, I'm sorry, but if, you're perform if there's a performance going on, people don't just run up on the stage and totally just do that. That is so rude. I mean, I personally, I will honestly say this, and I'm probably going to get a lot of flame for this. I honestly do think that girl had some kind of mental disorder. I mean, not like she was retarded. Do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong there at all. But there's some kind of disorder that she just was a little more childish than her age would state that she needs to act. And I understand. I don't mind kids like people like that going to the con. But they need to have somebody with them, supervising them, making sure that things like that don't happen, and keeping them somewhat calmed down. Because when, you guys just don't seem to understand, just because it seems like it, oh, that was really cool, and that must have been really easy to pull off, it was not. I mean, and if that plushie had hit my wig, mine or my Reno's wig, let's put it this way, I spent six hours styling my Roxas wig. We spent, me, my Vincent, and my Reno spent four hours cutting and styling her rock, her Reno wig Thursday night into Friday morning before the, of the con. The Friday morning of the con. So we could have it done for her cosplay in time. And that's just totally rude and totally unnecessary. And I personally will hope you guys never do it again. Because if it happens at another Kingdom Hearts wedding that I'm a part of, even if I'm not the actual person getting married again, because maybe someday we'll do an Axel Roxas if I get a Roxas, <laughs> or an Axel, shows how tired I am, then I, I, would res I just want respect from you guys. You may not approve of the coupling, but the fact still remains that we were putting on a performance for you, for your enjoyment, and whether or not you liked it, still show respect for those of us that have worked our tails off so that way we could give you this performance. And for all of you that were there that were so respectful and that were helping for uh, to Demix, a.k.a. Dragon Rat from DeviantArt that was in the um, Artist Alley, thank you so much. I love you to death for walking my nominee down the aisle. You are the best Demix I have ever seen. Thank you, my Reno for protecting me. Sora, aka my friend Callie, thank you for being my best man. 
I really appreciated that. And just everybody else that came to the wedding and had fun. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. We tried as hard as we could. But, I mean, I will tell you right now, I am seriously pissed off that somebody, that there were people that would be so disrespectful. And at a convention, I mean, sorry, but when you go to an anime convention, it's almost as if you are one big family. That there's, that all the anime fans are one big family. And then the fact that while I was there, two of, well, one of my buttons, I bought one of the little I'd rather be cosplaying buttons, got stolen. As well as I, when I was in my Tamari cosplay, I had my money and my Reno's money and my little side pouch. And somebody stole $23 of her, or $24 of hers and $13 of my money. That just, people like that, that just pisses me off. And I will tell you, right now, if I ever caught somebody sticking their hand in my pouch or in my pockets or anybody else's pockets trying to steal their money at a convention or anyplace else, I will hit you with my fan or my keyblade, whatever is in my hand at the time. And that's just unacceptable. Come on, guys. Seriously, grow up. True fans are respectful of other fans. Whether you may like the cosplay they're doing or what they're, the skit that they may be doing, respect the time and effort they have put into that cosplay and that skit or that performance, period. Because otherwise... It just shows how immature you are and how, shows to other fans how stupid you can be. And I may be sounding harsh in this, but it pisses me off. And as you can tell, I am losing my voice. There was a lot of crud going around the con. And, I mean, I may be slightly more harsh because I'm not feeling good. But that doesn't mean that the, my message still needs to be heard. So, I love you guys, and thank you for coming to the wedding, despite some of the hitches that happened. Every wedding has its little problems. You can't do it perfectly. Nothing goes through perfectly, because perfect does not exist. So, um, just thanks, and I will be cosplaying at IkiCon and Akon, and I will be at Tokyo and Tulsa, definitely. So, that is it for the Roxas Salmonet wedding. That was the only thing we were going to do. Keep your eyes on um, YouTube because there will be an actual wedding video. Love you guys.